Hi Nail Fam, I hope that you are well. Today is a very exciting day because I'm going to be unboxing my Amazon haul of all sorts of products to help you make your own custom acrylic powders and glitter acrylic powders, cover acrylic powders. So if you want to see everything that I bought, please keep watching. The view. You do? Yes. You're my best view. Me. I like the view. I like, I like the view. All right, so the first thing that you're going to need and the first thing that I bought in this haul is some clear acrylic powders from Model Ones. This is the one that I previously purchased and this is transparent. And I went ahead and got another one here and this is the four ounce jars. I got these off of Amazon. Everything in this haul is from Amazon. Now, as a beginner at acrylic nails, you are going to need a lot of practice. We are going to need a lot of practice and making your own DIY custom acrylics is definitely going to save you some money on purchasing brands and just having to spend money on so much different colors. So to make your own colors, clear is going to be your best friend. Now, after you have got your clear, now you're going to need products that's going to help you to color. Now, a lot of people like to use chalk, they like to use pigment. In my personal opinion, as a beginner, just starting out and not knowing all those things about chalkiness and the product marbling and stuff, I think your best bet is to use acrylic. So dip powder is a finer acrylic powder. But what I love about dip powder is that you can purchase a whole set and it's going to give you anywhere from 10 to 12 to 16 to 18 to 20. So I have this dip powder kit here from Beatles and this has 20 colors already made. All you have to do is take a scoop of one of these colors, add it into your clear, add just a pinch of white and you can create your own custom acrylic powders. You don't have to worry about the chalkiness of it because the product is already made. So you know that you're adding the same texture and consistency of powder to the clear so you don't have to worry so much about large chunks of pigments large chunks of chalk it's already fine look how beautiful that color is how are you going to make this particular color without not putting in maybe too much blue chalk or not putting in enough white take the gas work out of making your acrylic powders by buying more acrylic powder and not only one set I bought, I bought three set. I've already opened up one. This is the second and the third set. So look at all these colors and they're 20 colors. So I have 40, I have 60 different colors from these Beatles dip powder collections in total. This excludes the other dip powders that I already have in my collection. And this is going to make your life much easier and less messier. Now you may, you might like pigments, but these are the pigments that I bought from Amazon. Do you see a glitter pigment here? Do you see a teal? Do you see a really unique color here, a sky blue? No, you don't. So the pigment powders, they come in certain colors and you're gonna have to spend a lot of time trying to figure out what color works best. Now, in it, you might wanna use those pigment powders. That's perfectly fine. I have them here. I will be experimenting with them. I also bought these little like shimmer powders and I'm not quite sure what they're called and they come in a large set I think there's like 14 or 15 I have used a few of them already but I loved that they gave off a certain effect so maybe you want a green acrylic powder with a hint of glitter and maybe you want a certain effect to it a holographic effect um, a cat eye effect a reflective glitter effect to it so look how beautiful this color is so you add a tiny little bit of this to your acrylic powder and now you have a holographic effect to your acrylic powder and i thought that was really cool and the good part about making your own acrylic powders is that your creativity is going to be endless you're going to create things that you've never ever seen before all right so this comes with a ton of different colors i'm just going to take everything else so you can have a quick look at all the different effects you could make and remember, you can add one of each of these different powders to one single color. You can have a green color and add it with a gold or purple, any one of these. So the possibilities are endless when it comes to making your own acrylic powders. And I think as a beginner, you're going to have lots of fun. You're also going to waste a lot of product as well. This is just to make sure that you kind of keep that cost of wastage a little bit down.
All right, so we're done with these for the minute. Let's slide these on to the side. And I just wanted to also mention that a few of these pigments in this neon collection here, they are glow in the dark. So you can also add a glow in the dark feature to your acrylic powders as well. All right, now let's move on to mica powders. Um, and these ones are in a bottle and I have I've, I have purchased this 32 color set and I've also purchased another 12 color set that I had previously before so as you can see here there are 32 colors yes 32 beautiful mica colors in here and I'm going to pull them out one by one because I think it's important for you to see what's included in this particular kit or other kits that you might find on Amazon and what kind of powders that you could possibly make so I'll show you all of the names of each one of the colors and then as you're looking at them, maybe you can start to even kind of imagine what you could possibly make um, from these beautiful colors. All right, so now that we've gotten our clear acrylic powder, now we're adding in all our colors from the dip powder, from the pigments, from the mica powder. Now we're gonna be adding in some accents to the acrylic powder. So particularly, we're now moving on to the glitter. Glitter is going to add that beautiful glittery accent 
to your acrylic powder it's also going to add possibly a secondary color and uh, effect to your acrylic powder so here is the impressive large collection of glitter i didn't even know glitter comes in so much different colors each one of these is a different color starting off look at this blue here i have never seen such a pretty blue and these are all on the fine side so this is my fine glitter glitter will definitely come in fine it will also come in medium and then it also come in chunky and we have all of the sizes in this particular haul so when you want to create a different effect to your acrylic powders after you've added your color here is a good selection of fine um, glitters that you can add to your powders now i won't take all out i'm i'm gonna flip it over and then i will show you up close all of the different colors in here i just absolutely love um these glitters even though they're in like small containers i purchased another set of glitters and i think the other one that i have has a larger bottles as well but here's a quick look at all of the amazing colors of glitters that we have here and they perfectly match the mica powders that we just looked at so here are the larger glitters that I have. I, I really love these because they have the little salt shaker thing going on to the top of the bottle. So you could just shake them out. And they seem to be a little bit much bigger. Maybe a 50%, possibly twice as big as these other fine glitters. But I didn't have as much colors as I did with the other set of glitters. So that's why I ended up buying all two. And these ones I've had for a while, possibly over a year now. I just haven't done anything with them. So let's quickly look at all of the colors in this set and then we'll move on to the next set of products. All right, so now we've done with the fine glitter now let's move on to the medium and chunky glitter and other sorts of embellishments that we can put into our acrylic powders so we have some chunky glitter here or sequins i should say so we have chunky sequins we have chunky glitter and then we also have some mylar flakes here and all of these i was able to find off of amazon you can start a whole butterfly collection of acrylics we're using some butterfly sequins and then we have some square sequins here you just have to be mindful how much you put into your acrylic powder so that it's not too um, chunky we have some fine iridescent ones here so you can have an iridescent kind of you know acrylic powder and i want to try my hand at making some floral milk bath acrylic powders just putting in some really fine petals and some fine pieces of flower um, inside the acrylic and see how that turns out so here is this set here with so many beautiful colors in this. Absolutely love the colors in here. Now there's not a lot of, you know, pieces in here. And you don't, I don't think you need that much, you know? So if you make your own custom, you know, glitter mixes, you can definitely just use them sparingly until you kind of build up your collection. Just wanted to show you that you can purchase inexpensive collections off of Amazon and still have a variety of colors. So we have colors there and then we have this clear one here. Look at how beautiful it is. Absolutely see a wedding glitter mix here in this collection. So here we have some more glitters here and these ones are in jars instead of like little pots and they are a mixture of chunky glitter like this one is like a chunky like um, hexagon I think you call that hexagon and the other one is some like medium sized hexagons as well and they are in different colors so definitely different colors will give you different effects and there are 12 of these um, that I purchased from Amazon and they seem to i'm not sure if they have more than the ones that are in the pots but um still a good much inside here you're able to take out like a scoopful and add to your acrylics 
All right, so I'll quickly show you all of the colors that I have here in these small little pots. All right, so now let's move on to the mylar and other types of flakes because you can also use flakes inside your glitter mixes as well so as you can see we have different color mylar flakes and you don't necessarily just need to use one you can use a, a few pieces of this kind of like pink purple ish kind of you know iridescent mylar flake you can use maybe a blue to kind of give a different effect um, the possibilities are just absolutely endless and then these ones are kind of like metallic So like the first ones were kind of like iridescent holographic and now these ones are more metallic So now you can create a metallic effect and you can also purchase a, a Grinder, you know those portable grinders that people use for um, You know special kind of herbs you can use that and make these a little bit finer and add them into your acrylic so that they aren't so chunky so there you go you now have some holographic ideas now let's move on to storage when it comes to your glitter mixes specifically you might want to purchase yourself some five gram containers here are how those are looking very small containers you just want to be able to mix a few mixes in here and just be able to add it into your clear acrylic whenever you are ready so i think when you start making your own custom glitter mixes, you can put them inside here, or if you purchase them, I purchased some from Charlie's Nail Art and I put them inside here as well. Now for your acrylic mixes, you might want to start off with a 10 gram container, which I have done and I've made some already using these 10 gram containers, but I did find that they were getting a little bit too full. So you, you could use these for glitter or acrylic mixes um, if you wanted to go just a size up from this five gram um, container here. But I did purchase a 20 gram container specifically for the acrylic mixes, just so that I have space to kind of stir. And if I need to add a little bit more of something that I have the space to do so, I will only actually be using half the size of this container to mix my custom acrylic powders. But I want the space in case I need to add just a little bit extra. And it's a little bit bigger than, than the 10 gram. I prefer the purple cap actually, but they only had it in pink, so that's what I have. So storage containers are very important for your acrylic making. So moving on from the jars, now we need a place to store those containers. Now these, these only can fit those five gram containers. So for your custom glitter mixes that you're going to be mixing, um, or pigments or anything small that can fit in a five gram container these would be great i purchased these off of amazon and they have like three down and five across so that's 15 grids and and there were six in this all together now i i have purchased containers from shein before they were like around a, a one to a euro 50 maybe even two euros so to have six of these here that's 12 euros um so it was around the same price um, and I'm really happy that I have them and it's removable as well. So you take your five gram container, you can put them inside the little slots and they won't move around. I store my containers in another container and sometimes the lids pop off. Uh, so I'm hoping when I put them in these ones, the, it will reduce the lids moving because they don't have so much wiggle room in there. All right. So that's an idea to store your glitters and it's clear so you can see all of your beautiful creations right from the top. And that's everything in terms of storage containers. Now, another thing that you're going to use when you are doing your acrylic powders is your swatch sticks. And I thought that this was such a good deal. You get nine packs, 450 for less than 10, 10 euros, $10, I think. And I purchased like, I purchased these for like maybe 150, two euros on Shein. Now, what I will say is the ones from Shein, I feel like they are a tiny, a little bit stronger like the sticks aren't as bendy as these ones from Amazon so the Amazon ones I feel like they are just a little bit on the thinner side but does it really matter maybe maybe not it depends on how hard you're filing and, and brushing and if I'm just using these for swatches I don't actually think it matters 
I would prefer the ones from Shein, but I'm glad I have these extra ones here, which means I can just practice a little bit more. And the deal, I mean, the, the pricing definitely was really attractive, all right? So having swatch sticks, I use, I use them all the time for, you know, doing swatches for gel polish, doing swatches for dip powder, doing swatches for acrylic, whatever, you know, swatch need that you have, you can definitely use these square uh, swatch sticks. Another purchase that I made, and I already took this out the box and I started to kind of use it just very sparingly. It comes with a, a pair, a set of um, extra fingertips and it has a clamp and you can clamp this onto your desk and then you have your little practice hand here. And as you continue to make your own acrylic powders, I think it'll be good for you to practice your acrylic application. Um, I have been practicing on my own hand and sometimes I can get it all up underneath my cuticles. So having a practice hand it's definitely something I think all beginners uh, at acrylic should definitely do. And you can just add clear tips on to these uh, nails. You can cut them down and just add clear tips on to them using some base gel or some poly gel or something like that. And there you go. You can practice your acrylic application on your new practice hand. These are relatively inexpensive on Amazon. Now, if you didn't want to use a practice hand, Amazon also sells practice fingers. Now, I particularly purchased this one off of Shein, but I actually have seen it listed on Amazon as well, just for a few dollars more. And you can just practice one finger at a time rather than the practice hand. It all depends on your own personal preference, but definitely for your acrylic bead application, definitely for your shaping, definitely for your nail art, you want to have some sort of practice hand or practice finger. And I have been trying to test these out. So you'll see like little scuff marks and everything on them. But uh, pick yourself up one and practice with these definitely going to give you the much needed practice that you need so that you don't always have to use your hands. And then the last thing that you will need as a beginner is a notebook and a pen. Sometimes people don't remember to write down their recipes, write down everything that you've made, how many scoops, just so that you have a little bit of consistency in case you want to make more for yourself. You just never know um, what day you'll need something more of. So write everything down. All right, that's everything I feel like a beginner should have to make their own custom acrylics. I hope this video has been a little bit helpful. I will see you in the next video, guys. Thank you so much for watching.